Oh, welcome to this week's episode of SASN. I'm your anchor, Chance McNelly, and I'm sorry to tell you guys, but this week we don't have much for you. So, we only have one story, and it is with G&G, and they will be talking about the Band Boosters Craft Show Walk Slash Run on April 1st. So, out to you guys. Hey guys, what's up? It's the true G's here. The real G's. <laughs> Sorry. The um, 5K Run Like a Fool will be April 1st. It's a fundraiser for the Rockin' Red Creeks. Heck yeah, it is. The run will start at 10 a.m. And the craft show will also start at 10 a.m. and it go is. on till 3. It will go on till 3. This craft show will involve all kinds of vineyards <laughs> and all kinds of crafts. So, come out and spend some money and support your rockin' red streaks. Be there, be squish. Yep. Thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs> Thank you, G and G, on that running story. Now on to our announcements. Sorry, I just had to finish up my practice ACT test. But speaking of ACT, the juniors will be taking their ACT this week. So good luck, juniors, and Try to do your best. Now on to something pretty exciting. Our senior class officers have been elected and your treasurer is Kennedy Meredith, secretary Bryce Pearson, vice president Terrence Smith, and your president is, wait, give me just a second. Yours truly, Chance McNally. That's all I have for this week's episode of SVSN. Thank you for tuning in, and I'm going to send you out to the sports team. So, out to you guys. Welcome to this episode of SVSN. I'm your sports anchor, Gabe Berkheimer. I'm Ethan Crabtree. And I'm Baden Fuller. And welcome to this episode of SVSN. Welcome back. Welcome, fellas. Now, we have some big news here at Piketon High School. Huge. Big. Big. Piketon is home to not only the girls state powerlifting champions, but also the boys Both state gender. powerlifting Two teams. champions. Yes. I believe uh, someone on the sports team was on that powerlifting team. I don't know who he's talking I don't about. Know. I don't know. Someone. Me. Who are you talking about, baby? Gabe, of course. He was on oh, that powerlifting team. I completely forgot. I did too. Oh, wow. Well, wow. Baden, let me tell That's you. Crazy. Yeah. We traveled to Kenton High School Kenton this past school. weekend, and we won Boys and Girls State Championship. That's so cool. That's amazing. It's impressive. Let's, let's go ahead and send it out to our field reporter, Luke Nichols, on the state powerlifting team. Out to you, Luke. Oh. The girls and boys powerlifting teams just completed another tremendous season. It started with a successful trip back in January to Sims Valley and culminated on March 18th at the state championships in Kenton. The girls won the state meet by almost 400 pounds and notched their 15th state title. Madison Conley, Sammy Neal, and Kennedy Cooper were crowned state champions for the girls. The boys finished in first place as well. They won their division respectively by nearly 300 pounds. Matt Carrico and Derek Carter led the boys by placing second in their respective divisions. This marks the second time in school history that the boys and girls have won the state meet in the same year. Go Streaks. Nice job on that story, Luke, and congratulations to our boys and girls powerlifting team's state champions. Number now, one. as one sport ends, another one is born. And that, in this case, is track. Running. The best sport ever made. Well, I, track. I don't know about that, Ethan, but track is an amazing sport. And our very own field reporter, Kaylin Goff, okay. is interviewing the seniors that are running track this year and talking about their upcoming season. So why don't we jog it on out to him? Yeah, that's great. Off to you, Nalem Goff. Hi, I'm Kaylin Goff, and I'm here with the six-year track veteran, veterans, Ruthie and Tim. So, Tim is with the boys team, obviously, and Ruthie is with the girls team. And I got a couple questions for him today. First question is going to be for Ruthie. What events do you participate in? I participate in the 4x8, the mile, the 
the 800 and occasionally the two mile or the four by four. It's a lot of events. Mm -hmm. Do you have a, what are your goals for those events? My goal for this year is I would like to break the record in the mile and the two mile. And I would also like to reach to state in the mile this year. I hear you're pretty close to beating those records. How close are you? I'm about one second off of the one mile and about 30 seconds off of the two mile. That's very attainable goals. All right, Tim, next question is for you. Is there any postseason expectations for you? Postseasons? I just want to get into college for free. Yeah? For high jump. For high jump. What's your, what's your personal goals like for high jump this year? I want to get seven feet or above. That way I can kind of secure a full ride. All right. And is there team goals for the boys this year? Uh, that I don't have to run the sprints and that they uh, pick up around there. All right. So you heard it here first. Back to you, game. Who did the story? Brush. Caleb. Okay. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Good job, Caleb. Now, in more spring sports news, there's, an, sports. there's another sport, Crabtree. Can you tell us a little bit more about what this sport is? Well, you have a base and you have a ball. Actually, you have four bases. Um, I can't think of the name of it. Mm. Oh, is it? Baseball. 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 Yeah, well, in baseball news, you guys sell discount cards, correct? We did. We finished selling our discount cards. We ended up making over $3,000 worth of profit. Really? Just from selling those cards. That's, that's a lot of money. That to is, help go towards new bats, new uniforms, just to help out the team, you know? That is a lot, a lot of money. money. A lot of money. It's going for a good cause to help out our baseball team. It really is. So hats off to the baseball team. And our very own Bryce Pearson is doing a story on your upcoming schedule. So why don't you why don't you hit it up to him? Out to you, Bryce. Guys, and the boys continue the preseason games at McLean tonight. And then they start the regular season Monday night at the VA against Valley in the first pitch classic. <laughs> nice job on that story, Bryce. Nice job, Bryce. Yes, and an upcoming news with other spring sports. Softball. You know what they did? They picked up their first preseason win last week. Did they? Over the Northwest Mohawks. Huh. Nice. And you know where they'll be at March 22nd? Where will they be? Portsmouth Clay and more preseason action. Well, I know where we're going. We'll clear our schedules, Ethan. Yeah, we'll be there. I'll be there. Well, I think that's about it for this episode. I'm your sports anchor, Gabe Burkheimer. I'm Ethan Crabtree. And I'm Bane Fuller. And to all you out there in the valley, keep it sassy. Keep it classy. Sassy. Sassy. Oh, sassy. Sassy, boy. Keep it sassy. Sassy.